Oh, wait, I could just do this. I could, I could just, Move I could just do this. Yeah, I, yeah, I could just. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, I meant uh, to copy, not, not delete. I'm, I'm an idiot. Egypt. Egypt. Hmm. Ah, yes. So let's see. <laughs> you be in front. This is a cowardice. Fair enough. Actually, what? You're, yeah, but you're oh. playing world. Hmm. Here we are again. My only friends. <laughs> Presents recipe. <laughs> For uh, wait, wait do we ditch Bertrand? <laughs> did you oh my ditch god, Bertrand? we did! Did you ditch Shit. Bertrand? We weren't paying we attention. Really did. Oh no, we have to go oh. back. Damn do we though? What's that? You tell French me. Shit. You tell me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Let me... <laughs> I forgot Bertrand. Damn it. You I'm tell sorry, me. You guys want to go back? You guys want to go back? <laughs> Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Uh, rock, paper, scissors! <laughs> <laughs> Total. You will determine life in this situation through a flip of a coin. I'm <laughs> uh, sure he lived a long and prosperous life. Surely, I, mean, I think he did as well. Yes, he's, he's probably serving that fish up right now. Um, Let's be completely honest, he's probably going to offer the fish and then get eaten. And us jumping back in there after running away for 15 minutes is not going to save him. I'm willing to follow that logic, you guys. You guys continue running down the road. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. The I appreciate you guys learned, you know the value, the valor of discretion. <laughs> we are level one. <laughs> you guys continue running down the road, and you guys even... You guys go so far, so fast, so far down. You guys, some of you as of sources of light upon you, others blessed with a rather unprecedented amount of dark vision, seeing far and out. You guys are not chased, nor are you hounded. You guys don't see those three glowing orbs again. You guys run and run down the way. And you guys run back into Missionary Savas. Who simply he's like in the midst of finishing the repairs. He's like wiping his hands and uh, all right. You look like you've seen a specter. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No, no. Let's just go. Uh, we saw we can't. Like the, the, the beast is still ahead of us, according to uh, uh, what's his name, Bertrand. You can't just go oh. past it. The horses were getting oh. slaughtered. This is true. What happened? Yeah, oh. so. We came across a house that used to have cannibals, currently has a ghost child, and apparently something <laughs> called a mother that is hanging out. He just blinks. Oh what? shit, also Bertrand uh, may have stayed behind. You left him? No, no, definitely not. No, he, he, um, he left, left to stay behind. He left us. <laughs> he left us. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for follow you. Remember him? Nah, neither do I. <laughs> It was disappointing. We realized a bit too late that we had left him. And I mean, there's, there was no way to um, to save you him. You're a disappointing look at you. Um, <laughs> what? Uh. You know, after that, I'm quite happy just to sleep in the um, the wagon. <laughs> I second that. Yep. I'd rather run past the beast than whatever that was. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can sneak past it? We could probably sidetrack off to the- off the path. Yeah. There is no the side way off the path, I'm afraid. The other way is swamps. And he looks at the carriage. I don't think this would get through. So, wait till morning? If you wish. Traveling at night in the woods is not a wise idea. He sort of scans across all of you guys, like trying to see how harrowed you are. <laughs> I can work for that, but I won't sleep alone. <laughs> we have plenty of people to perform watches. Yeah, I was gonna mention that. Does anyone want to start uh, their time shift right like, now? I don't mind. Anyone want to join me? 
can set up shifts if you want to start right now. Um, I got the wrong perception. I can toss one of those. Oh, we found out. We found out. Mummy Dearest has followed us. I don't know what you're talking about. That's great. And uh, with with Bertrand's decapitated head in her in her hand. No, Bertrand's oh, actual no. husband. Mm, you do see you do see Bertrand's face. Yes, he's oh. walking down the way. <laughs> <laughs> He just comes up to you. Yeah, he's walking another way. He's going towards you guys. Hi, Bertrand. How hey, are you? Fine. Okay, clearly something is up here, but I, I am not the person to ask about what. How's Vision? Oh, uh, good. Who are you? Ah. Interesting. Hmm? Interesting, interesting. <laughs> uh, what have you been doing for the past uh, how long we were together? Uh, several hours. It didn't, take you guys, it didn't take you guys hours to run down this way. It probably took you from the house down to here, 30 minutes. Actually, you guys are doing like a dead sprint, pun intended. 15, 20? We also explored the house a little bit, so. Like uh, oh, I'm just saying for the time to run from the house down to here. Got it. The time from where you, uh, if you, from the time you last left Missionary Savist to now, four hours. Yeah, that that's the time three. span that he's asking about. Just like basically since we met until now. Yeah, three some hours. B. Seclarius. <laughs> That's something that might be that could be use. Anything you wish to share with the class? Says the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> She's a teacher. I'll need some help. Yes, yes. Uh, Professor at the university. I'll have you know. University. Uh, mostly, we are just looking to uh, camp out for the nights. I can start setting some divine wards and protections. If you are all that genuinely scared. I think this is an intelligence choice. Very well. He shows his ring. He casts a spell. Detect good and evil. Evil. There we go. Is Bertrand possessed? <laughs> is Bertrand possessed? <laughs> Is Bertrand actually a ghost this whole time? Ah, uh, yes. He did tell us there was a <laughs> house down there in the first place. That is true. He is. He is undead. To tell how recently he's undead by any chance. You have no way of knowing. <laughs> <laughs> did we yes. kill him or was he already dead? Who knows? <laughs> I feel like he used to be like like a butler or no not a butler they wouldn't have butlers it's the twins <clears throat> butlers and twins depends on if you guys were if you had a noble house or not mm -hmm. but yeah he is undead um, <laughs> well yes like that skull I mean is there a I'm assuming there's a bear up ahead oh yes, needles yes. yeah uh, yes, that- that is... yeah. I'm sorry, we are being very rude. Uh, I am Yukator. And, uh, might I ask who you are? Bertrand. Bertrand, okay. Your rust piece is, like, chittering away, away rather frantically. Like, like, kill him! Kill him! Get him! Get him! Get him! <laughs> Don't trust him! Kill him! <laughs> Maybe oh, we can send him off to the bed. Shouldn't really bother you. Let out by night. You need a place to stay. No. Where might that be? I got a little spot up there. If not down this path, there's a house. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, uh, house I, th I th yeah. I think we'll be quite all right. Thank you, though. Hey, Ukitor. 
You still mm-hmm. got that skull? Unfortunately. Oh no. I don't think during it's the running he would have. <laughs> oh, why is this skull it's shaking? vibrating. Like a Witcher amulet in a place of power. Oh, cool. Witcher. Uh, Garth is out thinking, hey, that'd probably be a useful device to find someone. That's crazy. I'm gonna. That's wild. I'm gonna get the the skull out of the bag real fast. You pull out your bag; it is sh- 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 shaking. I hold, <laughs> I hold it in front of me between me and Bertrand, and see if the skull would about fit his head. No, it no, wouldn't be no, his no, head. Wrong size. Wrong size. Okay. Uh, oh God, I hate that I forgot his name immediately. Uh, what's the the missionary's name again? Savas. Savas. Um, Savas. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Savas, could you uh, inspect this with your holy eyes? He's just looking at the skull and shaking in your hand with yes, intrigue and also disgust. It is a palindrome. <laughs> a palindrome? It's the same yeah. thing backwards. Yeah, 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 it's like a bubble. Yeah, he just looks at it like, what is that? It is something that we have acquired recently and. Uh, Probably one of the least bizarre things we encountered up there. I, you can, I can assure you on that one. Uh, you should get rid of it. What is that? He casts some sort of magic, and his eyes take on for but a brief moment a golden glow, and then he blinks and it's gone. Some sort of wraith bone. Uh, can I see if I know what that is? Or a religion. <laughs> Sure, I think am I trained in that? Yeah, I am trained in that. All right, well maybe. We're the Arcana. Any of you guys can roll upon it. A what? It's born. I will attempt such then. Yeah, There's one yeah. word. Ooh. <laughs> you know. You know, D, you aren't like the brightest of minds, <laughs> but. uh... You know, you always f- had a fascination with these weird, creepy stories out of either interest or fearful <laughs> paranoia and caution. One or the other, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you, you, you know what it is. Uh, in fact, you all, well, except uh, Secularis, you all have heard of a wraith bone. And now you think about it. It's is the thing that binds a wraith to the plane. You call it their last remains. It's their anchor. Destroying it will do one of two things. It will either set them free, and they go on to the afterlife, or it sets them free and they start moving around. Um. Onto their wraith bone, though. So, oftentimes it's a bone buried in a grave in the ground, so they're stuck to that area. Uh oh. Or as Savas is diligently pointing out to you right now, it will follow the wraith bone. Hmm. Shit. Frickin' yeet it. He says that in, uh, no, shit. Well, if you destroy it, it might just be able to pass on from this plane, or it could escape. Or it's, I mean, yeah, are you willing to... Sense. Oh, God, why did, we, why did you take it with you? Yeah. <laughs> why did you bring it? I am wise in the why land, not see... in the methods of the Elite. Yeah, why did you see a skull and think, oh yes, that looks like a fun souvenir? <laughs> I thought it would be useful for deactivating traps. Oh, are you sure? <laughs> you had one job. I know. I like, I like that you're just ganging up now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, Miss Book Smart has been faking it this entire time. Yes, judge me about my poor decision making. <laughs> Oh, excuse yes. me, I'll help you now. Yeah. I have everything yes. left off. I, 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 <laughs> we have five priorities. Savas. Are you able to like like uh, purify the bone so that if it is destroyed, they are I, going to f- go away? I could try, although this seems it's from the fact of like it's vibrating and shaking violently. It seems rather <laughs> old and powerful. I'm not sure. I could try. I don't know if uh, it worked though. It might be a safer option than just chucking it into the waters. Night. Do not chuck it in the water. Then people that follow after us will have no chance of finding it whatsoever. Mm. Well, that sounds like a them problem, to be honest. Is Bertrand breathing From one quarter to the next. I'm going to use Guillaume's sheet to rule religion with advantage. He isn't trained in religion, but he's a cleric. What is this? 
Salvis, what would happen if we put it somewhere the thing can't go? Well, I don't really know what places it wouldn't be able to go, save for holy ground. And he looks around. We're sort of far from any serious temple. That was up. Other planes. He looks at you. If I had the ability to just go to other planes, I don't think I'd tr be traveling on a carriage to the twins. You could besiege some face spirits, then maybe, but I don't know if that's uh, exactly plausible. You're asking if it would work. It could, I suppose. Yes, but how do or we get it over there? It would either prevent it from ever doing anything and to be constantly chasing an unchaseable goal, or that would be equivocal to it being freed, as it's no longer has an anchor. <clears throat> I don't know. What do you mean, God of What are you going to do? He has raised an eyebrow at that. If you have some capacity of such. He just thinks about. It. Never mind. Do what must be done. I'd rather not have a wraith hounding us. He will gladly hand it over to the, the, the person that seems to be very scared this entire time, but is now suddenly, like, surprisingly competent. That's or great. Confident. Confidently competent. Confidently confident. Yeah, you got the skull. Skull of her given. It shakes violently in your hands. Oh, why did I keep the skull? So it will kill two in the store. Did the mother kill the father? Did the father kill the mother and put the head into the well? Who was buried in the backyard? Mm. What? What the fuck? Ah, uh, the same thing. Let's see. Uh, you can magically vanish and enter your vessel, which remains in space. Interior of the vessel, the vessel, as you remain inside the vessel up to a number of hours equal to as your vessel. Uh, when you use exit the vessel, it appears on a space point. 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 Every object. Any object left in the vessel remains there until carried out. And if the vessel is destroyed, every object. All right. They're looking back up. Extra dimensional space. That's a very interesting use of that feature. Make me a charisma save. Can I guidance that? Guidance don't apply to saves, mate. Oh, yeah, that's true, true, true. As you leave your vessel, you can still feel the thing shaking even more violently. But you leave and your vessel has a little bit of a tremor for a moment, but then quickly subsides. I'm curious what you just did. Is that a genie's lamp? At least it's no longer shaking. True. I want music. Okay, the creepy music's oh, back. Uh, I don't know. Might what you're be better. About. Might be better. Might be worse. I guess we'll find out. I have no clue cool what you guys are talking. We're about. fucking dead. <laughs> oh my god. I have. I don't get why you guys hate uh, this music so much. It's such a lovely here. song. So, yeah, 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 I do like, love Claire Deleuze. Yeah, music. yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you gotta love uh, Cloud Debussy. <laughs> god dang it! And Sir Cox. <laughs> that's the that's the orchestrator's name. <laughs> yeah, let me let me put you guys on here. <coughs> yeah, let me just put you guys on this map. Great. Just, now, just put, now just put the, the thing is stuck in a lamp or a ring. Excuse me. Yeah. Are we dead? Are we dead? <laughs> <laughs> 
What else is, is, a person, is that... or... Are we dead? Are we going to be dead? I'm... I am unsure. Depends. How, uh, how fighting for your life do you feel right now? I mean, I'm feeling a pretty good uh, 10 out of 10 in the staying alive aspect, but... Um... Very good. Hold on to that. And do not let that go. Yeah, yeah. Go Whether it stays that way will uh, remain to be seen, won't it? Moments oh, pass. I to come here? Moments pass. She never shows up. <coughs> there you go. Supper time. Oh, oh Bershund is just going to make some delicious food. Okay. That's a missionary. I don't have a token. And the oh, token how can I forget? Be... Recipes. Uh, my yep. little companion. Missionary Savas looks around. He's finished preparing a general warding area, but he's still a bit cautious. She doesn't show up. Does that mean we're safe? Minute, two, three, five, ten, pass. She doesn't show up. Minute eleven. Boy, I don't know what sort of magical trick you just pulled, but I think it worked. Yes, that was quite... What was it that you did? Again? Well, that's true. But for now... <sighs> I'll wait until we are out of this place to say that we're safe. Yes, I'm <laughs> starting to regret agreeing to, agreeing to come here. Same. We're doing important work. I show uh, you. Go to the twins, they said. It'll be interesting, they said. Think of what you'll <laughs> find, they said. Has it not been in touch with So, you guys settle the watch order, tuck in for the night. Bertrand cooks you guys even more f delicious, delicious seafood. I don't know, but we're suspicious of it now, to be fair. I mean, you guys ate it before, right? So. <laughs> yeah. It gave us temp HP. It did. And that is where we end, my friends. Okay, I, I do have a, an image to... One oh, minute, where is it? I'm just imagining that, you know, the, the, the what meme? When, um... Sacralarius hmm? mentions the voice in the ring. <laughs> what? Where is it? <laughs> the what? <laughs> uh, so, congratulations, you guys successfully dodged combat. Twice. Hey. Hey. One semi literally. <laughs> what, was it the the wisps and the mother? Oh no, the wisps were never gonna fight you. I, I did have their stat box in case you guys wanted to fight them though. Oh, time you beat me to it. I, I did love Dude. how it's just like shoot, zap. Okay, never mind. Dude. <laughs> I found that personally very fun. Didn't really dive that bear. No, mm -hmm. well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I feel like the point of that bear was um eat O's character. It's... Yeah, it's called a <laughs> savager. There's, there's actually uh, evil druids that lost themselves. Interesting, interesting concepts. Oh, so it's like they wild shaped and couldn't break out of it, kind of thing. Yeah, so like House Moving Castle. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they are decently intelligent and, and, and so on. Um, but yeah, you guys dodge combat. It's semi literally uh, because the uh, she's called a loon wraith. Oh. Here she is. Oh, no, Loon. Ah, uh, Mubby Dearest, right. hello. Loon Rafe, yeah. And she can only sense out five feet. Um. <laughs> she can only sense out five feet, but she can detect life through walls. Which is why, you know, she could just walk through a wall and gank you. Uh, okay. Unless you dodged around her. And you guys did it pretty quickly on your own ends. I, maybe it could have been more interesting if I turned on initiative, but I didn't feel like it. Because uh, you guys had your own healthy sense of, get the fuck out of here, get the fuck yeah. out of here. Yeah, um, that, was, that was pure adrenaline, that was. Of, like, yeah. You could have detected her, which is why I put the aura visible for you guys through walls. You could hear her as a character. You could hear her through the wall humming. So you would thusly know where to not go. 
So yeah, that's uh, that's, so that's a loon wraith. Story. She's very lovely. She's also she was a mother, I guess, at some point. <clears throat> Did she kill her family? Was she? Yeah. Ah, uh, you guys want to know the story? Yeah. I will admit to some curiosity, yes. So this was a house lived in by a stalker and his family, his wife and child. Stalkers have an unfortunate precedent and reputation of ending up pissing off fairies. It just sort of happens. It sort of happens when you, I don't know, go into the Feywilds and fuck around in the ocean and sell it back to Mortal Realm. He had a series of acquaintances, co-workers, as you guess you call them, one of which you saw was a hag. Mm -hmm. What a foolish deal dealing with a hag or whatever. And when it came time to collect dues, he couldn't pay. Hags are evil. She didn't just kill him. That'd be stupidly simple. She got Antea to kill and eat her own parents, which they were hanging in the, the smokehouse. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. <laughs> when the mom's... So you have the mom's skull. That's what the rave bone is. That makes sense. Wait. Uh, Antea is did bury what bitch she was en enchanted to be allowed to carry, if that makes sense. Because, like, she can't <clears> break <throat> a hag's control on her, but she can sort of worm around it. So she can bury body parts, but she can bury graves in just general memory. And then she died. And now she haunts the place. And Mama is in the well. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Is the meat that we all ate in the uh, house? You guys did not eat any people. Uh -huh. You guys ate actual seafood from Bertrand. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's he's just a good cook. Next I was wondering if to that trap of oh hey look at this hanging meat here let's have a nibble. I was wondering if we fall into that, which would I be was... a really bad precedent. I was <laughs> uh, debating it, and then I rolled a twenty six and discovered it was human people meat, ah, yes, and I was like. Jack, mm. Jack. Thankfully, no one's a barbarian. <laughs> Thankfully, no one's a barbarian. So, this is an insight into the world. <laughs> the, the worst part of the world. The twins is the worst part of it through and through. And I think you guys have to see why. To be fair, it is a hag story. And hags are always just terrible stories to have included. Uh, stories. <laughs> stories. Realities. Um, yeah. So... While we have some spare time, because I know O has to go GM his own game uh, in a little bit, so I will sit down here with uh, the remainder of you, or we can end early. You know, you guys want to hop off. It's a, you know getting later for you guys, certainly. Uh, do whatever you want. I'd be happy to hop off and go grab a nap, because I'm operating like three hours of sleep, regardless. <laughs> so yeah, this is the setting. This is the provinces. Next week, we will be doing a session zero. Hopefully, we'll have another player. Um... I'm probably gonna decide today, and then we can bring them in. Um, so yeah, next is this a normal end time? Sort yeah. of no. Uh, so so here's like, uh, mm. well, okay. I may I might explain. So 